Hello everyone, my name is Talon Anderson and I am an Apple genius here at ATSU. And basically my job is to help you learn how to use all these apps and get through medical education properly. So we're going to look at three apps today that we use heavily during the curriculum. Notability, Eyecatcher, and Good Player. So first we're going to take a look at Notability. Now Notability is basically the main annotating app that we use here at the school and it has some awesome features that allow us to do everything that we need to. So what you see here on the screen, just kind of pointing out, on the left hand side you have folders basically and if you click on those they drop down into further categories you can use and then you can see what notes are basically listed underneath those categories. And so if you want to basically add something in for a class you're taking, for example, hit the plus button, I want to change to a category because this will be their big folder and we'll just say, you know, physiology. And hit done, and there's our folder. And so I can click on physiology. Now there's nothing in there yet, so what we'll do is we'll click on subject, and we'll say, you know, this is for test one or something along those lines. Whatever makes most sense to you, you can use. And so now I have the whole folder, and in here I can create notes, or uh, I can also import the PDF documents that teachers are going to be giving out, or um, the PowerPoints that teachers also use here. One way to do that um, is you can use either, there's a Blackboard app and there's also, we use Dropbox, you can save files to either and pull them off and import them here into Notability. And to kind of show you what that looks like really quick, you can hit this arrow button up here in the corner and it allows you, brings up these different options. Now these are all basically cloud servers, Dropbox, you know, Google Drive, there are other ones out there. This certain program uses these four specific uh, cloud servers basically to import documents and so I can go into my Dropbox account which I've linked here and I can go down and find you know my medical school let's see where do I have it so you can go to school and go to ATSU and I have my medical school and I also have classes I've taken up here and so then I can click on physiology quarter one lecture notes from test one I can pull in any of these and I'll import that basically. And now it gives me these options of either creating a new note or I can add it to a note that I already have. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new note and it allows me how many pages I want to import. And sometimes if there are like references at the end, you can take those off just depending on what pages you actually want to use um, for annotation. I'll import that in and it brings up the lecture notes for this particular lecture. So in order to navigate through, um, up here you have text, you have drawing, highlighter, eraser, or a crop tool that allows you to move things around. Um, if you're in the text, you can just use one finger scroll. If I'm trying to write, you have to use two fingers. But this allows me basically to go through and annotate anything I'd like. And so from here, I can select color, style, thickness, how big I want to do, uh, the pen, mark, we'll say I want red currently. And this is my little box, and wherever this box is, is basically where I'm going to annotate. So I can just go through right here and say, you know, this is a key feature or something like that. Something to make me remember it. And then I can close this down. This is a zoom box that allows me to make this as big or small as I want for annotation purposes. And then when I'm in a hand protection tool, I can minimize that if I don't want to see it. Um, typing is the same way. It also will pull up a box, basically. I can click anywhere on the screen and add, you know, if I want to type instead of write, I can do that through this as well. So highlighting tool functions similarly. You can also pull that back up, move the box around so you can zoom in, and then I can highlight. Again, the same type of features as writing. You can select color, how thick, um, how dark you want it to be in erasing, things along those nature. Now Notability also allows you to use, um, to insert videos, pictures, or any other objects that you would like to. And up here is where you can do that. And so here I have photos. I can take a photo with a camera and put that in. Um, there are figures, basically, a web clipping, a sticky note if you want to use that instead. Um, the photo will ask you to access your photos. And then from here you can import anything. Um, you can take a photo with your camera. A figure allows you to actually come in and you can use this to draw your own figure using um, the tools that they provide with different strokes and creating things like that, cropping tools, um, or anything along those lines. And then it'll shoot it back out when you want to, and it'll ask you, do you want to put it in here, do you want to disable it, so you have all these different options. Um, 
and then they also have web clips where you can actually go through and put in maybe a YouTube video that shows some type of, you know, breathing or physiology or anatomy, anything you want like along those lines. Where I can go here, it brings up its own browser. I can go to YouTube and say, you know, you can type in whatever you you can search for. Um, maybe for this example, say, you know, breathing disease or something like that. Disorders. We'll do that. I can pull these up and you can see different disorders and you can actually go through and insert that. So we'll pick a short video really quick. Just click on that. And that should allow us from there. We'll watch it, we'll pause it, we don't need to see everything. So there we go. So I can take that, click done. Once I'm on what I want. And now I have, there's a YouTube video that we just found and I can go ahead and move that to anywhere on the screen and minimize that down. And there you go, when I want to, I can go in and click on that and that allow me to basically go back and watch that video at any time. So it becomes very useful as far as see, actually seeing something that would help you remember it. And that's a great feature notability. And again, um, you can add pages in here or delete pages that you don't want to see. Uh, you can bookmark them to so find things very quickly if you need to reference something. And then the wrench up here allows you to do various things. You can change the paper style, color, things like that that may be easier to read. You can also you know, do a read only where you can just scroll through and that way you don't actually have any annotations or when you're trying to touch something it doesn't try to write over anything. It's just really quick. And then you can also use um, the speaking feature where you can record something either yourself or maybe a professor or somebody else giving you an explanation that may help you later on with um, a certain topic that you need. So that's a quick overview of Notability. Um, when you do actually pull up the app itself, they have this welcome and they go through and talk about everything that's unique to Notability and how to use it and give you tips and quick pointers. Um, it's a great way to always reference if you have questions and also get through material quite quickly. And so that's Notability kind of in a nutshell. Um, it's a great tool. I definitely recommend playing with it. The one last thing I will mention about it, um, you always want to back up your notes or your, on your device basically in case something were to happen. The best way to do that Notability is down here with the wrench, the little gear, you basically have all the settings for the program. And then you see syncing, you can auto sync basically, and you can choose any of those formats that we, you saw earlier, either Dropbox, Google Drive, um, there are two others that were mentioned. Um, Dropbox and Google Drive are probably the most popular that are out there with the most storage space currently. So you can jump on there um, and you can choose how you want that to sync, if you want to sync as a PDF with all your annotations um, or anything like that. So I can click on that, again it shows you I have it turned on, right? I have it turned off currently, but uh, Dropbox is what I want to do. And you can pick the folder that you want to sync to, so you can make your own folder to do that. Um, and then also, you can choose the different, you can choose which subject to select or not to sync, basically. To sync or not to sync, you can pick that um, theme and all those things like that. So that's kind of the quick overview. And again, just some of the settings that they have are right there. But that is Notability in a nutshell.